Hello guys, Super Prasha and today we are back in Bangkok, Thailand. Well, the opening here is a little bit different than usual because by the time I filmed this video, I was super super jet lag. I was just came back from a long European trip for about two months, but really happy to be back here. So first night in Bangkok guys, I have to go big. I was staying in one of the luxury hotels in Bangkok. This is part of Austria. It's just recently opened. By the time I walk in, I remember the lobby was just so stunning with the marble floor and the view oversee the central golf course in Bangkok. The rooftop and the pool is just so stunning. And what I'm most exciting about is the breakfast. Whoa. I can't explain how luxurious is this place. So without further ado, let's dive in. This is the Western style. Uh, so she's in Jan. Wow. Well, get into that. This is like the uh, American standard breakfast. Some eggs, mushroom, and sausage. And wow, look at the sausage selection here. Oh my god. Shabutali, coconut style. Oh my god, they have uh, Yumbigo hams. You <laughs> get into that food. Oh my god. Very nice. Wow, this long dining room though. Cereal and bakery station. Wow, order to go. We get into that too, some pancake and stuff. Oh, we go in circle here, guys. Oh. Uh, this is the uh, seasonal vegetarian Asian selection. Also, dim sum stuff. Okay, we come back to this. Got our table there. So she gave us this little menu here. Uh, just for us to go order from the waiter. Some eggs um, and the drink menu. Ooh, chamomile flower, fresh. I will get that. Uh, very refreshing morning. And probably some sweet energizing because that's really what I need right now. <laughs> I would get the truffle eggs. Okay, yeah. so, <laughs> I never try this in breakfast, so that's my friend Mackie, you joining us for the company. <laughs> so first we're gonna start off with this cheese and uh, bird selection. Mmm, wow, well, they have some raw honeycomb here too. Fresh raw honeycomb. Some assortment of cheese, gouda, blue cheese, cream cheese, some figs, and um, and some bread. To be honest with you, I was just come back from Europe and I have a lot of cheese, so I will skip this part for something else. And this is the standard uh, Western American breakfast style. I think for me, this one I'm gonna skip also because it's just. A very basic, like I don't come to World of Austria to order the English breakfast. <laughs> so, oh, but this uh, sausage though, I might get some. Oh, there, some pork and some. Uh, we see. Wow. Yeah, that the, this ham look very a little extra for me, but uh, yeah, sure. Okay. They have good tea, gonna cut something cross because the whole piece is a little too much. Let's go cut. Oh, wow. Oh, we get some stereo hams too. Just to sample them. Yeah, I will get some of this too. Just cut it. Alright guys, I think this is good for our first place. Just to start out with the uh, <laughs> very meaty, meaty breakfast here. Wow, 
Timothy. Good morning. 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 Good Look at this smoothie that like, we just ordered. We ordered pretty much uh, all the smoothie that they have and some pro press. Um, I think this one is, I don't know, this is energizing. This is for waking up. So some beetroots and some ginger or something. There's a lot of uh, coconut water in there. Really, really, really good. And look at this color. This is very minty. Minty smoothie. I don't know what it is. Milky, minty smoothie. Oh, this is a chocolate and whey protein stuff. Typical nuttys, chocolatey, banana-y smoothie. And this is look very like mango and pineapple and some oddy tropical fruit in the world here. Just order everything that I did not complain on. This is really fresh and the ingredient is really, really high. So guys, let's start eating. This is our first bite. I will start with something very basic first, but here it's actually not too basic. This is the uh, just glazed ham, honey ham. It's a very high quality ham, and it's not salty at all. It's just like very fresh ham, you know what I mean? Even though the ham is not fresh, it's really high quality. Oh, and then we're gonna start with some, this is the uh, just garlic chicken sausage that they have. Wow, very meaty, very, uh, it's not like the sausage you bite in and just fill with fat and uh, you know this is a real, real, real sausage, it's a really good sausage. So, the sausage. Give you a sausage flavor, everything there that they have that assortment is very high quality, very, very tasty, fresh. Uh, now we come to the coconut part. I think this one is Italian ham something. It's not the highlight, but uh, it's one of them. This one is just very okay for me, but I'm gonna get some pickle. Clean up my palate for the real deal this year that we're coming for, the Ibico ham from Spain. Wow. Okay guys, that's the big difference between that one. This one is just, when you go in, it's just the, the flavor just bursts in your mouth and it just starts to melt. Kind of like when you eat a really nice sushi. Oh and also our, our uh, egg truffle is here and some curry in the front. Thank you. Oh my god, this is also look incredible. But let me explain the Iberian ham first. It just melts in your mouth and the more you chew, it getting sweeter and sweeter. And the, the intense flavor of the ham is just coming out. This is a very nice treat and very rare to find Bangkok, this type of ham. So uh, I'm really glad that they have it here. Okay, since the egg here just right come in front of us. Wow, oh, look at this guy. This is the uh, egg Benedict truffle. And on top is some very nice kawiya here. Look, guy, let's get some of this oozy shot. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh. Wow. And below is, I think, it's uh, some Spanish, some green, which is I don't really care about. Look at that. Very intense smell already. The bread of the Benedicts, like very, very soft and Jewish, really good um, root bread. 
and the eggs and the sauce, the truffle sauce, my god guys, it's, it's not too intense because it's breakfast, but it's really smooth and it's blended well together with that kawiri also. All of this when you come here, it's very, very special and not all the breakfast places that have this. And that's actually my first place in Bangkok that have a truffle and kawiri for breakfast, so worth it. Wow. I will get some brios for sure. This is look really, really incredible. There's three here, guys, and they make fresh soft serve ice cream here too, and the waffle. So I will, you know what? I will come back for this later. We come to the Asian station. We have some flat rice noodles to fry, and this is rice with squid and salted eggs. Well, even the fried rice here is a little special. And this is some spicy soup with prawn. Today we got some mixed vegetables. Please uh, come to the dim sum area. Salmon teriyaki, red bean short ribs. Um, Indian curry, some kanji area here. Whoa, not sure what is this about. Can you open it? Huh, oh, chicken wonton soup. Some fly Chinese donut. And this selection is the cold salad area. Oh my god. Look at the tower. Decorate here. Everything here is just so so extravagant and next level. Wow. Just so you know, guys, this is just a sweet potato, but they make look like a five star sweet potato. Just so crazy. Isn't it? So we're just gonna get this salted eggs fried rice with the squid. I haven't really tried this one for a while. Oh, look at this guy. We're gonna have some quick number in here. It's very Thai style. Salmon creative sauce. Okay. Yeah, everyone is very, the service here is extra extraordinary. We'll get some of this. I mean, cup and cup. Some short ribs here. Yeah, I don't have more hands, so this is uh, gonna be a week now. So, I want to try this uh, Thai style spicy soup. That's good. Uh, mm. Okay, I think we are good. Alright, guys. Second round. This is the Asian selection. I was gonna do some rice and some squid. This is the egg yolk, salted yolk of uh, fire rice. To be honest, um, the egg yolk fire rice tastes really nice, but the squid is already uh, very chewy. But of course, it's difficult to make uh, not chewy in your fire rice because it's a buffet style. So um, it's still very high quality. I can't complain. Anyways, let's try this. Soupy thing. I don't even know what is this. It's called uh, spicy Thai soup. Thai. Wow, the smell is very uh, intense. Very uh, jungle style curry. Mm. Oh, I don't like this one. It's like really weird taste. Let's skip this. <laughs> <laughs> so we get some uh, pork ribs from the uh, dim sum area. Mm. There's some soft bone in there. I really like. It's really good, guys. Like very garlicky pork rib, amazing. And we have some uh, salmon teriyaki. <laughs> Thank you. 
can't complain. It's just salmon teriyaki, but very high quality salmon. So we get some trim congee extra. You can put some assortment if you like. Of course, it's very important for Asian breakfast. Ooh, steaming hot here. Mm. Wow. I would say, guys, it's a really, really nice congee. Like, everything is perfect. Texture of the rice, the creaminess. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's basic, but it's, uh, they've done everything correct here. Look at this incredible <laughs> dessert. Oh, wow, even the plating, it just look, look luxury. It's just scream luxury out loud here. We are gonna try the uh, homemade soft serve ice cream first. With, uh, this is the basic one, double cream. Wow, oh, I got some goosebumps. It's crazy, this is, this is not vanilla. It's, uh, it's very creamy. Doesn't taste much to be honest, but the uh, the flavor and the smell is really. You can tell it use like very high quality milk. I don't even know how to explain. Doesn't taste much, but it tastes luxury. You know what I mean? Like when sometimes you eat like some kawi or something, it doesn't really taste much or truffle. It doesn't taste much, but it's you know this is a luxury taste. Uh, this is a strawberry. Well, it's a very intense, intense color. I don't even know why uh, it's uh, this much. Mm. Oh my god, it's a really good ice cream, like a uh, strawberry ice cream. I know what tastes a uh, strawberry ice cream tastes like this. It's very light, but the fragrance just hit you in. It's there isn't any artificial at all. Wow, crazy. And now we have some truffle. This is a maple syrup. I will just add some here. Mm. Oh guys, this looks incredible. Guys. Oh my god. Wow. So truffle is basic, basically a croissant and then press reheat again. And this is very buttery croissant. You can see that it's, it's packed with the butter. Wow, incredible. All of this, for sure if you come here. So guys, this breakfast, this is uh, my my take on it, my summary. Best two thing is the coca selection with Iberian ham and Italian sausage and all those stuff. That is the very high quality. And in Thailand, those things are somewhat difficult to find. I actually, a little quite disappointment with the uh, Asian selection. Um, they use all high quality and everything, but it's just taste is not really Asian standard. I understand it's the international buffet, and they try to blend all the taste to be uh, blended in the middle. But for Asian cuisine, like you, you can't really do that. No. And also this selection, the ice cream is incredible. The homemade ice cream you need to try, and also the pastry area, the beers, the waffle. Wow, this is the uh, incredible. So I can summarize this, everything that they use here is extra, extra quality. Everything is just screaming luxury to you. This is considered a very good selection. A lot of, uh, there's four area for breakfast. So it's considered somewhat variety, but compared to the Hilton that we went before, it's still not comparable on that. But uh, the quality of, of the product and the service and the ambient, this is like, this is ultra luxury to me. I asked the server, um, this on, on Monday to Friday, it's open from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. And on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, it's open to 11.30. And if you want to come in, it's 1,000 baht for breakfast. For me, if it if this uh, some special occasion or you want to treat yourself, you going for some Iberian ham and or for treat your girlfriends, this is, uh, this is the place to be because the interior here, everything here is just so beautiful. I don't know, even this this table and the silverware, you, you, you feel like you got this ultra luxury experience. So this is my take on that.